From a shortcut to a traffic nightmare, what was once a quick way through the west side has become a virtual rush hour parking lot. But officials hope what's happening this weekend will fix all that. CBS 2's Randy Page is live in Playa del Rey with the medicine that they believe will break up the congestion there. Randy. Pat, Rick, I have to tell you there are so many angry people here. This is a huge deal here in this community. After all, 24,000 cars were going up and down this street as, as of just a few weeks ago. Then four lanes were down to two, and the commuters are hopping mad. One woman came by here just a short time ago and screamed, change it back. It was the shortcut that had it all. Two lanes in both directions, an ocean view, and a straight shot from Manhattan Beach to Playa del Rey, through the marina and Santa Monica, all the way to the west side without ever getting on the 405. But some who work and live along this stretch in Playa del Rey complained about dangerous accidents involving pedestrians and bicyclists as cars zip by at near freeway speeds. So the city responded by adding a bike lane and cutting two lanes in both directions down to just one from Dockweiler State Beach through Playa del Rey. Commuters like Elaine Heller were not happy about it. It is not a shortcut anymore. It's now another one of those dreaded intersections in Los Angeles instead of, a, oh, I get to see the ocean and fly into like my back route into the city. It's, does, it's not that anymore. And now the city's making some more changes, this time adding one more eastbound lane along with the bike lane just north of the residential area in Playa del Rey to help ease the gridlock. It's much better now. Melinda Stansbury has lived and worked along this stretch in Playa del Rey most of her life. It seems safer. Um, people have to slow down and a lot of people text and they're still texting but at least they're not going 50 mile an hour. And controversies like this are going to be happening over and over again because the mayor and the city council are trying to coax people out of their cars onto bike lanes and adding public transportation. And we're seeing when you try to take a limited amount of asphalt and share it with a lot of people, others tend to get very mad about it. Let's go back to you. I guess.